we filmed out there. Mr. Merkins was kind enough to do some <coughs> filming at the Home Depot Grand Prize Show. Oh, Check look at this, this car. Out. That's Whoa. not mine. That's, That's not Wayne Cooper's. That is nice. Model T. Now Wayne liked my Model T when he joined our club, and he said I'd like to get a 14, and I knew where that was sitting in a garage down in Inglewood, and it was for sale. So mm -hmm. he went down and bought it. And he's done some more work to it, and uh, built a little trailer on the back, which you yeah, see. Yeah, that yeah. was really great. That uh, I like they used to have years ago. But that's an authentic T, also. That that car is an original, original motor. No. Nice. It's it's a, a rarer than my touring because they made fewer roadsters, of course. That is mm -hmm. a roadster, and that was the roadster that the little turtle deck comes off on all those on the back, and then you can put the pickup box on it. Uh huh. So you could buy the pickup box from the dealer. See how that that'll lift and right make off a little there. pickup truck out. Sure, you can use it for right. for both. The farmers use them for a truck, and they use them for a runabout. Now Look that's at that trailer. Cute. That is very cute. Wayne's quite a woodworker. He's got a wood shop behind uh -huh. his house, and he built the box. He he's loves doing woodwork. And cool. And he certainly kept the era correct too. Yes. So it's really yeah. really interesting. Uh -huh. 1914. Very cool car. I remember the first show he came out to. And I remember calling you on the phone when you and Wayne were working on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Bill? Working on a Model T and it's now not he built, mine. He built that box on the side, too. Oh, oh look now, at here. Now, here's a car. Look at this. Check this out. 1979 Trans Am 10th sale. anniversary car. $1,295. Mr. Dohanic, are you watching? Lance, look at that. Yeah. 1295 That shows how the values fell on some of the cars. With a parking ticket. Yes. Oh. This is the first show <laughs> the car was at in a in long time. Dohanic puts a for sale sign <laughs> on it. And this was uh, moments after you brought the car uh, in. They were yes. ready for it. Oh, you. yeah, they were, they oh, were yeah. like on it. Yeah. And then I got all these people coming up to the, to, <laughs> to the DJ booth saying, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Car looks good, though. Raging reproduction is worth that. That is a very nice car. You notice the tag, Fat DJ? Fat DJ. All right, this would be Mr. Giovanetti. Is that his? Yep, Steve Giovanetti. Matter of fact, he's got this for sale. He built this. He's looking to build something else, but he's got to get rid of this one first to do it. And I think this and, is a street beast body. Is it a street beast? Yeah, I, I just, I don't yeah. know why I think that, but I was is, thinking is that. Is it a steel or fiberglass? No, it's fiberglass. Fiberglass? I think he told me that, or I saw something on the, the tags and so on. It's a nice, nice street bike. And I like the color, you know, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's simple, uh, but he's got some contrast with it, which, you know, really is, is good. Um, interior's nice. I mean, they did, uh, and there's, there's people that don't like tweed, but it certainly is, can be comfortable at times. It's Well, look what they did on the door. Yeah, the door panels. So the the yep. flame pattern in it. Yep. Look at that escort panel on it. Uh, Machine tool. Oh, isn't that beautiful, yeah. That's yeah, that's good stuff. We are doing a show at Steve's place on my anniversary. Or have I mentioned that? <laughs> I don't know. The <laughs> show or your anniversary, I think. <coughs> in your windows over here. <laughs> that is pretty. Do you notice how the radiator had that little sloping? A little slant to it. In 32, Packard brought out a radiator that slanted and then curved at the bottom a little bit like Did that. It? And they call it the shovel nose. Ah. And then that started to take off, okay. and a lot of cars started sloping the radiators and then making them flare a little bit mm -hmm. at the bottom like that. That was quite a, quite a modernistic style in 32, 3, 4, along in those years. This car's got a paint job on it, too. Yeah. Three-window coupe. What is more rare, the three-window, the five-window? Three-window. The three-window coupes are more rare? I like the grill in that. This is a nice oh, Mustang. Yes, it is. You remember this one, Bill? Yeah, well, I, I don't remember the, the guy off the top of my head, but I, um, it definitely was, it was very well done. And of course, it's convertible, so that's always something that um, makes it a little bit more popular. We had uh, 
I don't remember. What do we have over there? 130? <coughs> 130? Yeah, it sounded about right. I know that Something. we were jammed. I know that there was We used little. all the spots we had. We were really kind of packing them in there toward the end. And I suppose Home Depot was very happy with this. <coughs> Eddie Petrasky said, well, I guess we're going to need another couple of rows next year. <laughs> At least. <coughs> They're it, good people to work with, Home Depot. And it filled up pretty quickly. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Well, and uh, didn't we have that uh, food thing on last week's clip? The Gone in 60 Seconds pizza? Yeah. <laughs> that was a popular color with the Mustangs. That He's got know. that electronic pull-down, or what, mm -hmm. what is it, a hydraulic? <coughs> electronic? Well, some of them have hydraulics, but some of them are... Uh, Electrical too. Electric. I don't know what he's got on that one. Nice Mustang. Yeah, very well done. Very stock appearing. We saw some cars out there that I hadn't seen in quite a while out at that Home Depot show. Chevy SS. I like that hood. That's the that's the hood we had on my son's uh, '68 Chevelle. This was a nice clean car. Do you remember this one? Yeah, you know, and it's funny because I, I never did get to talk to him. Uh, you know, some of the striping these got on it wasn't things that you could buy. Mm -hmm. um, so the the stripe that you see on it was something that would have been on a Yanko. Not a, not a package kind of. Yeah, thing and then like he's, he incorporated the Chevy SS into it. You know, to to work that direction. I don't know if that's a factory or not, that one or not, but uh, of course so many of the cars today you see with vintage air and adding air to them, and it is well worth it because it, it actually makes a difference of about anywhere from 2500 to maybe three, three, $500 difference in your price that on you can get on your car. Yeah. Because so many people really like to have the air, especially down here, yeah. and it's, it's worth it to put it in. You get your money back usually. And that was that conflict back then, you know, with uh, muscle cars. You know, you don't have a lot of accessories on them, but you know, when you're when you're in the uh, in Florida area, it cer certainly is nice. Now, like my convertible doesn't have air conditioning in it, mm -hmm. so my air conditioning is just taking the taking the top down. Ah, uh, now we're going to move right along to Hooters and Strickland's. We got some footage from uh, the Hooters show. We had a visit from our Over the Bridge gang. <clears throat> Some of them came down to see us that night. It's one of their first years that Chevy went to the alligator hood. Now Prior to that, they always lifted on the sides. So. Trying to think of who this would be. Looks like a 40. That Mustang we saw was, I, I believe, Fred and Linda Sawyer <coughs> was the Mustang. Is that 40? Bill? This one, this one, I'm not sure of. Looks like it. When I got to the to the. When I, you know, when I film all this, I, I I shoot the plaque so that Lance has got all this information so that he can talk about it a little bit. You know, then we'll talk about the how the car was done and so on. But who knows what you, you did with you it? You guys huh? done conversing between yourselves? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you can go ahead. You know, I like. Sorry, go ahead, Lance. You know, I like. Yeah. I like the flames on it. Um, <laughs> you know, I think it's something that. Um, uh, you know, it's not overdone by any means, and uh, and yet it's it's probably a very good drivable yeah. car. And those guys, you know, those color. guys certainly go plenty of places. That's for oh, sure. Oh yeah, they travel, they travel from show to show. Just they run those cars. They have a ball with them. You know, a lot of the interior is fairly stock. Of course, the seats are not. Um, but you know a lot of it, a lot of the dash and so on. You know, other than they've upgraded, that's what's kind of cool anymore. You can put modern day gauges yeah, in just about anything. The, the peep mirror on the side. Yeah, mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was so popular back in those years. The peep mirror couldn't see much out of them, but <laughs> I like the chrome edge on the hood, where they've got mm -hmm. that chrome strip. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat. Now this, I believe. Is uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, you see the bottom of that radiator? See how that shovels out? Yeah, the back? how it comes 